Here's Brody Brazil. I know you know that this is my sports-based YouTube channel, and typically I wouldn't put out a video on something like this, a local airport that wants to change its name. But this story and these developments, they hit just a little bit different. Let me explain why I want to weigh in on this topic. Number one, I'm an East Bay native. I was born and raised in the 510 before it was even the 510 area code. It was 415, but the start of my phone number still begins with 510, and that remains kind of my mentality in life, too. Oakland is also my primary airport, whether it's business or pleasure. It's the place I'll typically try and fly out of first. It's just easiest, most convenient. It's the closest to my home, and it just makes a lot of sense. I've always had a good experience flying out of Oakland Airport. It gets me where I want to go. Number three, and this is less important but still slightly relevant to the bigger picture here, I'm actually a licensed commercial pilot. I used to work as a pilot in the flight instructing field, but I have a general idea of some concepts and themes in the aviation industry, and that kind of does tie in here. Number four, some of this name change thing is kind of related to sports and a team, let's say, like the Los Angeles Angels, who do not play in Los Angeles. Next to Los Angeles, yes. In the Los Angeles area and region, yes. But they're in Anaheim. That's in Orange County, so you can't really call it Los Angeles when you're not actually in Los Angeles. And that brings me to what the Port of Oakland wants to do with Metropolitan Oakland International Airport. That's the current name. That's what they want to go from to calling it San Francisco Bay, Oakland International Airport. That's a mouthful. And I could deliver you here all their key points and all their reasonings, but instead of me telling it to you, I'm going to let them tell it to you straight. I'm Barbara Leslie, president of the Oakland Board of Port Commissioners, and I have some exciting news to share about our favorite airport, OAK. We consistently hear from local travelers in our community about their desire for more direct flights to a wider variety of domestic and global destinations out of Oakland. To make this happen, we must improve the geographic awareness among inbound travelers to the region. We found that over half of frequent international travelers and nearly a third of domestic travelers are unaware of OAK's amazing location in the heart of Northern California and the San Francisco Bay Area. This means that flights to Oakland haven't performed as well as they could, leading to a loss of routes and making airlines reluctant to add new routes. That's why the Port Commission will consider modifying the name of the Metropolitan Oakland International Airport by replacing the word Metropolitan with San Francisco Bay. The name to be considered will be San Francisco Bay Oakland International Airport. The three-letter airport code, OAK, will not change. Adding San Francisco Bay to the name will improve travelers' geographic awareness of the airport and help us reach and succeed in new markets. In an increasingly competitive aviation industry, we must take this step to protect the over 30,000 good-paying direct jobs and the $1.6 billion in economic impact the airport generates. We're excited about the future of our airport. We've embarked upon terminal improvement projects. We're upgrading the Terminal 1 check-in lobby, restroom facilities, and providing an exciting lineup of new local concessions and restaurants that really represent Oakland. Hope to see you soon at OAK. Okay, Barbara, you will see me soon at OAK. I'm sure my next flight is within the next couple weeks or so. But interesting to hear it from that perspective. Here's part of a press release from the Port of Oakland. They kind of repeat what Barbara just said there. Quote, OAK consistently hears from local travelers about their desire for more direct flights to domestic and global destinations. To make this happen, travelers who live outside the region need to learn that OAK is located in the San Francisco Bay Area and close to the region's top destinations, which I fully agree with. Like I said, it's convenience. You fly into Oakland or maybe even San Jose, and sometimes you're going to San Francisco because that's just the region, but one of those two airports might serve you differently or even better. Now, here's the thing. With this potential name change, 
the Port of Oakland already has support from all over the map, from the airlines like Southwest and Spirit and Valeris. Also from the city of Oakland, their mayor, their council member from District 7. They've got support from the president and CEO of the Oakland African American Chamber of Commerce, the executive director of the East Bay Economic Development Alliance, the president of the Building and Construction Trades Council of Alameda County. They've got support from the CEO of Visit Tri-Valley, the CEO of Visit Oakland, the vice president of Visit Walnut Creek, and the CEO of Visit Berkeley. This thing is pretty much signed, sealed, and delivered, it seems, although the port commissioners will consider the name modification of the airport at their April 11th, 2024 port board meeting. The conversation and the decision, like people are starting to realize this now, so we're less than two weeks away from this April 11th meeting. Once the Port Commission has considered the name modification and taken an action, staff will move forward with the formal renaming, including working with air carriers, other airports, and local agencies to reflect the modification in airport and airline systems. Yeah, name changing, booking flights. And there's a lot to that, which we are about to get into here in just a second. Here are the things that I acknowledge about the port's position. Number one is this. Oakland is definitely a more convenient option to San Francisco and the greater Bay Area than actually SFO is, right? Because of the arrival delays, a lot of times in the summer with fog and low visibility, they try and use those two parallel runways. They can't. They narrow it down to one, and all of a sudden there's backups and delays all across the country getting into San Francisco. That's not the case at Oakland. There's only one big runway, and yeah, it's busy, but they just don't have the arrival and departure delays in Oakland like San Francisco. And not to mention, if you're going to downtown San Francisco, hypothetically, Oakland Airport is actually a lot more close and convenient. You hop on 880, you go across the bridge, boom, you're right there downtown. It's not that much different than going up 101 or 380 to 280 to getting into downtown San Francisco. Oakland really is convenient and has a lot of benefits from the airport side of things. I do acknowledge maybe that the geographic awareness might not be there for somebody in the Midwest or somebody who doesn't come into the Bay Area a lot. They just know they're going to the San Francisco Bay Area. So they start to type in and search, I want a flight to San Francisco when actually Oakland might have a flight that suits them better. But why does San Jose not have this problem? That's equally convenient, to be quite honest. So I do understand that geographic awareness probably isn't great for potential visitors, tourists, and outsiders. I understand that. I also understand what I think here is that port officials are trying to capitalize on San Francisco as a familiar name, right? You start typing in San Francisco, or generally speaking, I'm going to the San Francisco Bay Area, even though Oakland and San Jose with their major airports are big, big parts of it. I think I understand that part, if that's really what they're doing. But what I don't understand, I acknowledge this, I only half understand it. Is this guaranteed to expand the flights like they're talking about, to expand the business like they're talking about? If we're going to squeeze the orange, if we're really going to squeeze the heck out of the orange here by changing the name of the airport and putting Oakland, the Oakland part of it, like far down the list and the San Francisco part at the beginning, which is really confusing... Are we going to get 10 more gallons of juice out of this orange? Or are we only going to get about 10 more drops? Because if this is only 10 more drops, I don't know if the name change is actually worth it. Okay, and that brings me to some concerns here. Number one, this is totally confusing because San Francisco International is not changing their name. So when you book a flight or when you're doing a flight change, hey, where do you want to go? San Francisco. Okay, done. You're going to San Francisco. Wait, I'm in Denver. Was that San Francisco Bay or International that they just sent me to? It's a little bit confusing to have two airports start with two of the same words at the very start. San Francisco International versus San Francisco Bay. Oakland International Airport. Like in Chicago, there's Midway and there's O'Hare. And I'm not saying we need to name the airport after somebody, and I, I get it, they're trying to capitalize on the geography and the region to draw more people, but same thing in New York. They don't all start with 
New York this, New York that. There's different names for the airports, which make you understand they're all part of the region and that they're actually different airports. It's also totally misleading. If somebody is actually trying to land in San Francisco or they think they're going to San Francisco, putting San Francisco in front of Oakland doesn't make where you're landing San Francisco. Again, San Jose doesn't do this. They can be their own entity. I just don't understand why Oakland is trying to suffocate its name by putting it later to be a little bit more misleading, way more confusing, and trying to benefit out of it by getting more flights booked there. And let's be honest, this is last but definitely not least, this kind of lessens Oakland's identity. It kind of cheapens what's a great asset to the city of Oakland, the airport. Everybody flies in and out of Oakland. If you're from anywhere in the 925 or even the 510 or the 408, 707, 209, it makes a lot of sense for a lot of people to come to Oakland and utilize the airport because it is a community asset. And now you're taking the name and burying it behind everything else. And like I said, are there really no better alternatives? I'm not going to sit here and do that on the video, right? But come up with a catchy name, put some time into this research and marketing. I feel like San Francisco Bay, Oakland International Airport, is that six words? It, yeah, it is six words. It's a little bit wordy. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't feel right from the local perspective. So this name change sounds and seems like it's right around the corner. I've been watching some reaction to this as the press release only came out a couple days ago. It's been on social media. I've seen the response. It hasn't been great. I don't mean to pile on here. And look, I'm not against the Port of Oakland for trying to do better. I appreciate that. I understand that. But don't just go ahead and change the name of the airport to make it so much more confusing. When public opinion, a large public opinion is saying, you might want to think about this before you actually go through with it. Okay, I know, totally different video. Had to do it. Had to rant. Thumbs up down below if you appreciated it. I appreciate you watching this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so I can definitely see you back here next time.